Hi guys, and welcome to another unboxing. We're going to be unboxing my new MacBook. So, yeah, I bought this for about $101 or something. It was like uh, $20, $20 to ship the thing, and, you know, MacBook was about 80 So, well, uh, there's a few problems with it, uh, wrong with it. The battery has expanded, and um, I'm waving this around like I'm going to kill someone. Um, the battery has expanded and the bottom is coming off, but that's a replacement program from Apple, so that should be no problem to get fixed. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take this out of the box. Okay. I'm not sure what this plate here is for. This is blunt. <clears throat> Scissors. Get this out, and I cannot cut it because that's up. I don't know why they need to bubble wrap the charge wrap so much. I don't think it's going to break, um, but at least this bubble wrap's coming off pretty easy compared to some other stuff I've taken out of bubble wrap. Okay, it's the older style T connector one. Um, most people prefer those because they uh, don't get damaged as easily but I don't have one of the right angle connectors so I can't really say anything on that but there it is it's a genuine Apple one, doesn't come with the extension cable but that's not a big deal because I have an extension cable for that, I have a spare one laying around and Apple is the password so that's cool good, it's, it, by the looks of it it doesn't look uh, bent or anything um, I think he took the photos with a GoPro or something, so they looked a bit, bit funny. Um, yeah, this is a very cheap laptop. So I currently have a mid-2009, that's my main laptop anyway. Um, so this is exactly like a year newer than it, but it has a glass trackpad, um, which is always good. But it was going to cost me about 80 bucks just to get a glass trackpad from a early 2008 MacBook to, uh, to smash into my, not smash, but put into my mid-2009 because the uh, connectors are the same. But it wasn't worth that much money. Um, so yeah, I just ended up getting a new laptop. And I'll be putting my SSD in here, which I got yesterday. It arrived yesterday and I cloned all my data across. So I can feel it. And we used to have these things in primary school. Um, yeah, in year 5 and 6, so yeah, it's not that long ago since I've used these, but I really like them, I think they were pretty cool, um, before I went to school. So the bottom will be replaced by Apple for free, um, which is always good, free repairs there. See, bubble wrapped it up enough. Because you don't want to get the rain in there. Because it's raining in the middle of summer. It always does. So there it is. It's in average condition, not too bad, but not that good either. But it's it's good enough. Alright. Let's open it up. Yeah. So by the looks of it, yeah, it's cracked the actual casing here. Uh, down here for the trackpad. There's a crack underneath the trackpad where the battery is popping up so it doesn't click or anything. It's completely stuffed. So the guy was using this as a work computer. Um, and yeah. So looking at the bottom, it's not bent or anything. So I'm going to take this plate off and take out the battery just because so I can turn it on without worrying about it. This is also coming off a fair bit. So I'll just grab my screwdrivers. So I'm going to remove the eight screws. I get a hand on four pretty easily, but uh, I'll probably upgrade more than that. Okay. Ooh, she's 
dusty. As you can see, you can't really see that on camera, but it's dusty. This guy obviously hasn't pulled this apart or anything. Okay, the battery is expanding, but not like uh, exploding out or anything, which is good. Leaking. Okay, so here we have the MacBook battery. As you can see, there's the bulge right there. Um, so, so to get this out, I ended up taking it down to an authorized Apple service provider with the cover off, and uh, I knew a few of the people there, so they unscrewed the three tri-wing screws for me for nothing, which was nice of them. Um, so as you can see, there's the bulge right there in the battery. So that's now out. Um, the trackpad has gone back down, which is nice, nice and flat again, but it's not clicking properly. So to fix that, there's a little screw. It's the screw. So it's a Torx T7. All right, so I've gone ahead and installed the new battery. It is a genuine Apple battery. I ordered that from my uh, local or reseller. Installed it myself, put in some uh, screws with uh, where the charming ones were. So if I ever have to take it out, it's just Phillips screws now. Um, so the bottom didn't get replaced because my little laptop's older than four years. So that's a bit of a pity. But I put little feet on and taped up all the holes because they do go straight into the logic board and you don't want dirt or water or anything else getting inside the laptop. So that's just a temporary sort of thing at the moment. Um, but the actual condition of this laptop is quite nice. Um, it is in better condition than my previous laptop. I got that for absolutely nothing, um, so I couldn't really complain about that. But as you can see here, we've got a MagSafe, Ethernet, mini display port, two USB 2.0s, a headphone and microphone, like a mixed port, and a Kensington lock. And on the other side we just have a uh, DVD super drive. So opening it up here, we do have a glass trackpad, which is nice. And there is a chip there from when the battery kind of pushed up the trackpad, but I'm not gonna worry about that, it's, it's not a big deal. Trackpad still works. It's a bit firm to click, but I've turned on tap to click, so that fixes most of the problems. The keyboard is actually a lot smoother than my um, A11, A1 MacBook. So the keys kind of, kind of feel funny. Um, I'm not sure if they're just worn or they are just kind of... They kind of feel oily, but I've cleaned them and everything and they still feel like that. So they're not like the new sort of matte finish, they're glossy sort of finish. Um, but anyway, that's okay. you got all the multimedia controls and everything that you add on pretty much every other MacBook these days. Um, and a power, power button right there, and you've got the light there, but you don't have um, the IR for the Apple remote, like the previous generation, the A1181, which is about, it's what I used to own. So I cloned the hard drive, or cloned the hard drive onto an SSD, so it's currently only got 3 gigs of RAM, uh, put a 240 gig SSD in there, and yeah. There we go. So it's exactly how I had my other MacBook. Um, I did a clean install on this a while ago, so I didn't really worry about it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's just your usual MacBook now. Um, it's nice having the glass trackpad. You know, you can do all the, the gestures and all that kind of stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, so thanks, guys, for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. This is this.